Hey, yo, Stevie, I got like three mail for you. Eagles fans everywhere, this is for yeah. you. Fly, just fly, you know, the team, touchdown, touchdown, time to get you in this ring. You don't really want to start a thing. This is a bird game nation, baby, it's a Philly thing. Hater, man, you looking like you type trash. I'm just here going on Philly, Philly, the podcast. And we can call a man dog, or watch my score off the hand dog. Rest of the division, your man saw Jackson like Sean, hunting like Randall. Season here, early time to do a in. Your boy Philly Fresco, thanks for tuning in. Tuning in. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Joe Castro, aka Philly Fresco, and it is Philly Philly the podcast, man. You know what it is. We about to sit here and we about to talk about this Steven Nelson drama, all right? Because at this point, it's just drama. You're liking all our statuses. You're, you're retweeting all of the, all the things that are about the Eagles, but you're not an Eagle yet. Well, we got a little bit of news coming from Adam Kaplan, so we're going to get into that. Now, before we do get into that, be sure to hit that like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share it with a friend, you know what I'm saying? Sharing is caring. And shout out to Philly Girl 76. She got her quote up on the board. Um, it says, no one likes us and we don't care. I, I read that and I had to put it up on the board. If you want your quote or anything you want on the board, if it's funny or if it makes me happy, I'll put it on the board. You know, we, we do videos almost every day. So, you know, either DM me or, or leave a comment in the, um, the comment section and I'll pick one and we'll go from there. But let's talk about Steven Nelson. Now, Steven Nelson, I'm going to go back to what I was saying in the beginning. When I said that we should go get Steven Nelson, my assumption was that his, his price range would be in the price range of like 7 to $8 million a year. That's what I was thinking. And I thought that would be the low end of it. I was hoping that would be the low end of it. Well, talks are happening, and apparently, you know, according to, to Adam Kaplan, at the very least, he's saying that the Philadelphia Eagles are only willing to pay up to $3 million for Steve Nelson. Now, with that being said, I feel like this isn't just something that just happened, right? I, I don't feel like we just woke up today and was like, eh, we, we, we don't want to pay more than $3 million. I feel like this is our, our price that we've come in at. So I feel like Steven Nelson knew this. I feel like that the Eagles knew how much they were willing to pay. Um, it's probably news to us, owed to them. But look, if we can get Steven Nelson for $3 million, I'm all in. Let's do it. I mean, realistically, I don't think anybody re really thought that Anthony Harris would be as cheap as he was or even Eric Wilson would be as cheap as he was. So maybe the market's just not out there for some of these guys. Maybe the market is just not what they thought it was. With the salary cap dropping this year, or, or the previous year, I should say, it's obviously going to start rising. So next year, we'll have more money. Maybe it's one of those things that Steven Nelson's just like, let me latch onto a team that needs me, and maybe I can I can make it into a two- or three-year thing. Because realistically, if Steven Nelson does well, if Steven Nelson comes over and say it's a $3 million contract, and he balls out and he makes our, our secondary a top 15 secondary with the you know the two cornerbacks him and Darius like I'd pay him. I'd pay him seven to eight mil for a couple years. We'd have the money. I, I have no problem with that. If you ball out this year, you deserve a, a nice little contract. I have no problem paying him till he's 32, 33. And realistically, if we can get him to like seven, eight million dollars, who's to say that Darius Slay is gonna be the number one next year? And I'm not trying to, you know, talk junk. I'm, I'm talking 2022. 2021 obviously easier this year but he's making like 23 million dollars next year man that's a lot of money maybe we restructure him again but he's getting older how far are you willing to push that contract back i don't want to say too far i don't say too far so look I, you know it's a real possibility that he can come in here fight for the number two well not even fight for the number two spot take that number two spot and be fighting for the number one spot um come next year realistically if he's eight million dollars he'll be around 31 next year it makes sense to me you know and, and i love darius slay i think darius slay is a dog and i hope that we can figure it out contractually but to pay somebody as much as we're going to be paying him next year he's gonna have to be like the best cornerback in the league not not like one of them he's gonna have to be like top two and he won't be two like he's got to go out there on the ball so i more than i'm looking at this look i I don't think it's a disrespect to Steve Nelson. I've, I've said this before. 
anybody or anything is worth what will, people are willing to pay for it. If people aren't willing to pay Steve Nelson more than $3 million, I don't want to be the team that does. Um, you know, look, like I said, we probably need him more than a lot of teams that are willing to pay him around that that money that we're willing to dish out. But, I mean, look, you got to you at the end of the day, as a franchise, you have to find sneaky ways. You have to find sneaky links. You know, like he waited, he being Steven Nelson, he said at least that he was waiting until after the draft to try and increase his value. Maybe the opposite is happening. Maybe, maybe, you know, everybody's feeling comfortable with the cornerbacks that they have at camp. Maybe everybody's feeling comfortable with the veterans that they have on their team. And people aren't willing to pay somebody like a Steven Nelson. I don't think Steven Nelson is a top five guy. I don't think Steven, I think Steven Nelson is maybe like a borderline top 12. You know, I, I would put him around there. So who really is going to go out there and pay a lot of money for that? I said seven to eight million dollars and I thought that would be on the low end just because of the cornerback position and what that, you know, the price usually is for it. But like I said, this COVID season may have ruined a lot of people's value. So maybe he's one of them. Um, I'm all in on Steven Nelson. If we can get him for under five mil, I think it's a no-brainer. The, the Eagles have only five million dollars in cap space. Let's be um, real about that. But once whatever happens with Zach Ertz is gonna happen, once we're you know where we have to be with cap space because we're gonna get there, we have to sign Landon Dickerson. It's not. You know, I've never seen a, a first uh, round or a second round player not get signed. So I, I assume that he's going to be signed. I assume that this contract, that we're not going to sit with $5 million. I assume we'll get a little bit more probably off of Zach Hurts. Maybe we restructure somebody. But look, we have the, the money to bring somebody in. And if it's somebody like Steven Nelson, I think it's a no-brainer. I really do. And I, like I said, I'm not sitting here saying he's a top flight, you know, cornerback of the world, but it makes a lot of sense to put, a, 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 take a gamble on a guy like him. And if you can do that for under the seven to eight mil that I thought it was going to take us, by all means, Howie, by all means, please do. We have to figure out Howie Roseman's middle name. That That is like literally, I can't find it. So if you guys can help me find out what his middle name is, maybe he just doesn't have it. But I just like when I get serious, I like to say people's middle names. So like I need like his, you know, like Howard, blah blah blah, Roseman. I need that whole whole spiel. But you guys let me know what you think. Because really, like I said, I'm not gonna sit here and say that that Steven Nelson's gonna save our team. That he's the next coming of anything. He's the next Beyonce. He's a shutdown. I'm not saying any of that. I'm saying for what we need, he'd be perfect. And realistically, if he exceeds what we need, he could help us out in the future with our cap space. Because like I said, Darius Slay is going to get paid a lot of money. Darius Slay is going to get paid a lot of money. So we have to be prepared for that. Um, but look, man, go go get him. Just go get him, out. Just go get him. If you got to pay an extra two mil, because it doesn't seem like mad people are going after him. I don't hear a lot of other fan bases yelling for Steven Nelson. I don't hear a lot of other teams being connected to Steven Nelson as heavily as we are. So go get him. Go get him. He wants to be here, I feel like. So go get him. Keep him in Pennsylvania, man. Uh, but you guys let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you guys, uh, how much would you will, be willing to pay? That's that's the real question. How much would you really be willing to pay Steven Nelson to come to Philadelphia and take that cornerback to the spot? All right, and now be, remember, be sure to leave a comment so we can get your comment up on the board. Shout out to Philly Girl 76. Mad love. She's been with me since the beginning, so I appreciate it. But other than that, I know what it is, man. <laughs> it is 103 to 96. My bad. My bad, Sixers fans. My bad. But no, it's Fly Eagles Fly, and we are out here. Peace. Eagles fans everywhere. This is for you. Fly Eagles Fly. Touchdown, touchdown, time to get you in this ring. You don't really wanna start a thing. This a bird game nation, babe.